In this example, we will use a tree diagram and conditional probabilities to solve this problem. An individual has three email accounts. The likelihood any email comes from account 1 is 0.5, from account 2 is 0.3, and from account 3 is 0.2. From each account, the chance an email is spam is 0 0.10, 0 0.30, and 0.8 for accounts 1, 2, and 3 respectively. So the first thing we want to do is draw a tree di diagram. And we will do this for each one of the email accounts. So the first account is account 1, where the likelihood the email came from account 1 is 0 0.5. From account 2, the likelihood the email came from account 2 is 0 0.3. And the likelihood the email came from account number 3 is 0 0.2. So remember, all these branches should add up to 1 because in a tree diagram, each section of branches is its own little set. All right, so the next thing we want to do is want to then do our conditional branch. So recall that in a tree diagram, the consecutive branches are all conditional among the uh, previous branches. So for example, this branch here is the probability uh, an email is spam given it came from account 1. So that is 0 0.10. If it came from account 2, the likelihood it's spam is 0 0.30. And the chance that it's spam if it came from account number 3 is 0 0.80. All right. So now if we want to know whether or not a, an email is not spam, given it came from a certain account, all we have to do is fill in the rest of these branches. So this is going to be 0 0.90. This is not spam. This one is not spam. 0 0.7. And lastly, not spam if it came from activity. Account number three is equal to 0 0.20. So we can answer question B here pretty quickly. Given an email came from account one, what is the chance it isn't spam? So the probability of not spam given account one is simply just equal to this branch. So 0 0.90. Okay, so the next question asks, what is the chance a randomly chosen email is spam? So we want to find the probability of spam. And let me just write up here, this is 0 0.90. That's what this one equals to, so I can just erase this. We want to know the probability of spam, which by definition will be equal to the probability of spam and account number one plus the probability of spam and account number two plus the probability of spam and account number three. This is the total law of probability. And so from here, we can actually calculate these by simply multiplying our branches. And the reason why is this is the multiplication rule. So this is the probability of account 1 times the probability of spam given account 1 is equal to the probability of account 1 and spam. So that will give us this, this first expression here. And we can find that by simply just multiplying these branches. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.1 will give us a value of 0 0.05. Now if we do that for each one of these here, if we multiply these branches, we will get this second expression here, spam and account 2. So that would be 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 which will give us 0 0.09. And lastly, if we multiply these two branches here, we'll get 0 0.2 times 0 0.8, which is equal to 0 0.16. Now we have each one of these expressions. So the probability of spam is equal to 0 0.05 
plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.16, which is all equal to, if we sum this up, 0 0.16. 0.30. All right, so the probability that any email is spam, regardless of its the account it came from, is 0.3 or 30 percent. All right, so our very last question asks, given an email is spam, what is the chance it came from account 3? So if we write this in notation, it would be the probability of account 3 given spam. Now, the common thing to do, which is incorrect, is to say that this is 0 0.80. And that's because the conditional is actually flipped around. So again, remember, this is the probability of spam given account 3. And we want the probability of account 3 given it is spam. So our denominator is different. So our numerator is just going to be this expression up here where we found the probability of spam and account 3 using the multiplication rule. So we know that that's going to be 0 0.16 and we know the probability of spam is equal to 0 0.3. So the given goes into the denominator and we get the likelihood that the spam email came from account 3 is equal to 0 0.53. So again, what is the chance a randomly chosen email is spam is 0 0.30. And what's the likelihood a spam email came from account 3 is 0 0.53. All right, and that's how we solve this problem.